Hey guys, welcome back to another Coin Flamingo video. As you probably know, last week Wall Street bets, bets became kind of a big thing, and as a YouTuber, I think I'm obligated to make a video about it. I'm not sure, I didn't really read the terms and conditions of YouTube. So here's a video series where we're gonna create a scraper that will grab the most mentioned stocks in Wall Street bets and put them into a website. In this video, we're just gonna do the scraper. If you wanna check out the website or the website's code, the GitHub is always out below and the website link is down below because it's live. And if you want to see other videos about how I made this website, make sure to subscribe. It'll be coming out every Monday. So now let's get started with the scraper. As any good developer, we start by searching the internet for a blog that does exactly what we want to do. Luckily for you, I already found one and, that, and it will be linked down below. And I made some of the modifications to the code to, to make it specific to this scenario. So let's go through it. So first we're going to go to Reddit and we have to go to Reddit slash prefs slash apps and create your own application. So you're just gonna do create an, your application, you put in the name that you want, the description, redirect URL, the uh, the pro, which is the Python library we're gonna be using to, to go through Reddit, uh, recommends you use localhost slash 88. So you just go here and do it, it actually doesn't really do much. Then you do create application. So I'm just gonna go through it and create one just real quick. And we're gonna hit create app. Oh, and we have to change this to script. And if you wanna do a description or something, you, you can do it. I'm not gonna do that. Then you're gonna click create application. And here you're gonna get a personalized use script and a secret. We're gonna use these two, so make sure to, to have it. Don't try to use mine. I'm gonna delete it as soon as this is over. So to try to be smart about it. And in here we're gonna have it, so we're gonna be using the pro um, package for Python. And in here you can either pass it in the constructor or you can have a, a if you just name it prod in it without the demo, it'll, um, it'll grab the values from there. So make sure you copy your personal use script, which is in the top left the secret and then the name that you want to that you gave the application so in this case it would just be coding flamingo since I, I didn't put the bot in the reddit stuff and then this is your real username and this is your real password um these are not my username and password so also don't try them and also in my git ignore i put um that it doesn't push up the, the prod.na because you don't want to push your actual secrets to GitHub. So that's why there's going to be a demo with these values in the GitHub code, as I said, down below. So now that we have that, we're going to go to here. And as, as me, you can just copy it from my GitHub. Um, I created, so this is a new class that I created. It's just so we have the post ID and everything. We're going to use this later in the other videos for the website. This is actually what we're going to store in the database. So we have the post ID, URL, stock, how many upvotes, how many downvotes, and number of comments. And I created this for JSON. We're going to cover that in another video. And this is the one that I stole from the blog that is linked down below. Um, and here we're doing the init that it, you pass the sub what type of sort you want, you want new, hot, or whatever, and the limit, how many posts you want. By default, it's 90, uh, sorry, 900, but you can do it however. We just print it to the console so you can see what you're doing. And in here, it tries to set the sort. This one you're gonna call here, you'll see down below. But basically what we do is the three types of, hoard, uh, of sorts there is, and if it doesn't understand what you pass, it will default to hot. And here's where the magic happens. So there's a get posts and in here I create the stock tickers. Those ones I got from um, these websites, they're also gonna be linked down below. And I actually went through the CSV. So I so I got them here from NASDAQ. I, I got the ones for uh, N, NYC and NASDAQ and I put them all into one CSV. Um, I did remove some of the things. So there were a lot of stock tickers that were like named and or Anne or love, and it was giving me false positives. So we kind of removed some of them. 
Uh, the CSV is actually also in the GitHub, so if you don't want to do the same job as I did, feel free to just grab that. It has like 7,000 stocks or something like that. And here's where we call the set sort that I defined above. And then we just print, we're collecting information from this subreddit. Here I put an I just to print it, just so I know how many posts have been because it was taking somewhat long when I was doing a thousand posts and I just wanted to, to see the, the progress. And then, so basically I go through all the posts that we got. And before you guys put in the comments that this is a very inefficient way of doing it, it is, but we're going through a thousand posts every hour. So it takes maybe two, three minutes and it would take me way longer to write more efficient code in Python because it's the first time I write Python in like eight years. So I just went to, <laughs> to get it done and low coding time, a little longer execution time. If you want, you can do a pull request and make it better. Or if you want, you can just comment down below how shitty my Python is and keep going with your life. So basically for every uh, post, if it's not a meme, I, I just ignore the meme ones. Um, you, I, I go through all the stocks and try to find it with regex in the post title and in the post text, I basically check that there's a space before because you don't want to grab things that are inside little words. There might be a dollar sign before and there might be a dollar sign after and I want to space after and in between the, the stock. And if there is one, we put it into a dictionary that has the stock and then the post ID. So we're going to end up with a dictionary of dictionaries for each stock and for each post ID. So once you go through all the posts, now we go through all the stock tickers, which is a dictionary that we created before. And if it has a post, because most of the stocks we don't mention, um, it's usually like five stocks that are mentioned in Wall Street bets. Um, so we only get the, the ones that are mentioned. So we create a list of stocks that are mentioned, which is basically a list of posts with a stock in it. Because if you remember up here, we have the stock name in the class that we defined. And then I left here an extra print statement to see the, the length. I guess we can remove that one. Then we convert everything to JSON that I'll cover in more detail in the next video. And then we print it to JSON just for debugging. So let's just run it and, and see how it goes. So we have the main here and I'm basically calling the super Reddit scraper with Wall Street. I'm just limiting it to five posts just to make it quick. And I'm sorting by new. Usually I sort it by hot, so I'll, I'll just change it to hot right now. And we'll just go and get the posts. Um, so let's try it out. So as you can see, it's going one, two, three, four, five posts. And then it tells us which stocks they, they mentioned. So they mentioned Apple, they mentioned this one that I'm pretty sure it's Disney. Then GME, of course, GME again, Microsoft and Purple and Tesla. So as, as Wall Street bets as you can get. So thank you for watching. If you want to see how we put it into the database and everything, make sure to subscribe and the next video will be out on Monday. I'll see you in the next one.